Hi. Thanks for everyone who posted. I uh, got some good ideas. Uh, I made a solid state Bedini uh, uh, energizer and I'm charging batteries and healing batteries. I've got some results that we'll go through. Uh, so here's my setup. Here it is. Here's the coil. 8 filer and the caps and a 1K and 10K pot, uh, 2 watts. Here's the circuit, MJE 1309s. And uh, here's the two 7.2 uh, amp hour batteries. Here's the 20 amp hour battery that I'm rejuvenating. Uh, it's currently running. So I'm going to go through and uh, go over here to the computer and show you the results on the load testing. Here's a shot of the CBA. It's not currently running. The battery's charging. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I've got another one here, so now what I'm going to do is when one's charging, the other one's going to be low testing, and then I'll be twice as quick. But anyway, that's for later. Here is the results from the first three cycles. So obviously I've got 17 more to go, but you can see this is under a uh, half amp load. The red one's the first one. So that right there, uh, right there is about 11.8, and then it just kept dropping off, and I got about 2.6 amp hours. And then uh, the blue one here is the next cycle, so it sits a little higher, lasts quite a bit longer. That's 2.6, and this is uh, 4.079. And then the third one lasted me. Uh, just over five amp hours so we are getting better one thing I noticed though with this uh, 20 amp hour battery over here is that um, I initially thought I would load test it at one amp but when I do it can't hold the load uh, so I'm hoping that uh, just discharging it slowly on the load testing here will help to uh, bring that up so it can handle higher currents so we'll see um, yeah, I've got some questions here too. Just uh, I'm gonna put them together here, and I'll be right back. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, so two questions. Uh, one was I saw a, a Bro Mikey's energizers, and they look like really cool. I'm just wondering about the heat sink because I know it's charging some big batteries. So I don't know that. I guess it's the transistors getting hot, or I'm not sure what. But that'd be cool to know. And um, I remembered, right now I'm powering the charger with batteries. So if I wanted to power this from the wall, I could use some sort of fairly robust, say what, 2 amp, 12 volt supply. Uh, if so, what are, the what are the precautions? I know right now on the amp meter I'm drawing 1 amp. Uh, so I'd like to know if anyone has any ideas on the precautions. I don't want to blow anything up or set anything on fire, um, not on, you know, accidentally anyways. So if uh, you guys have uh, answers for that, that'd be sweet. Oh, one other thing I'll show you. I have a design for a PCB that I'm going to be making. Uh, and if anyone wants it, just let me know. All right, we got our place here for the transistor. And then uh, you've got the trigger resistor going to the trigger bus and then you have the diode and then you have uh, see this is making me think now and then you have your ground here this here is a diode that's your bus diode bus here's the solder point for the coil and that's it it's it's minimal there's no other for the for the diode cap mod or anything there's no other provisions for that there will be in the future and i'll share those too i just think it'd be cool if anyone um is going to try that i'm going to i'm going to make uh some boards but i'm going to make maybe three or four or at least four i might make eight because i want to make a lot of these because i've got uh a lot of these guys to start charging as well so uh, oh yeah one last question is I noticed on Mauser and also DigiKey that MJE 1309s are unavailable I don't know what the deal is there if anyone knows that'd be cool Happy New Year